What's up everyone? Welcome to the Durbin Compound. Well, we're not actually at the Durbin Compound today. We're at Ethan's house, uh, a friend that I have made in the chainsaw game. So um, I came over to Ethan's house and we we're talking about square ground chain. So I was convinced when Ethan came over and he spanked me with his saws, um, it really didn't matter what I had. I think I threw every saw I possibly could at him and my round ground chains just did not make it happen. So uh, he's got a square grinder, the Symington, what, 451C? Correct. I think it's the only one that you can get right now. Um, and he's over here filing some chains for me. So what we're gonna do is a quick montage. Uh, we are going to grind a work, his work grind, which he would use for standard firewood cutting. And then we're going to uh, grind a race grind. So there's only a few degrees of difference between the two chains. Um, I'm going to put up my best hand filed round, round uh, file ground chain. We're going to do that one first. We're going to go through cherry. I think it's just about the size of a 20 inch bar. Uh, we're going to go through the log. I'm going to do a, a uh, basically an average of three cuts, uh, three cuts on the round, three cuts on the work grind, and then three cuts on the race grind. So you guys will see it firsthand, uh, probably even put in there, uh, me changing over the bar. So the saw is arguably the same temperature, uh, the outside temperature is the same, the log is the same. It's all as best as we can get it to be constant. So all your variables don't change much. It's not like we're changing days and, and things like that. So I hope this will be an informative video for you. I will roll in all the details I can about the chain and, and, and the details in the bottom while you're watching the video. Maybe this will convert you to want to look into the square grind just like it did me. So I think about a two second difference in this cut is probably what we'd be looking at. It's about two seconds faster. So uh, if this video comes out first, it will be a, uh, you know, this will be something, a preface to uh, a future video. I'm gonna pick Ethan's brain on chain. Um, he's a young, sharp dude, and he's just blowing my mind with all this stuff. So I'm getting nerdy, I'm getting in the details, and uh, we're gonna put it on camera. So if this video comes out first, well, then you know about it. If the, that video comes out first, then this is the second video. So I hope you guys enjoy. Um, I'm gonna shut the comments off for this video. I'll also preface that, because I don't want any uh, negativity. I don't, I don't care about all that stuff. You're gonna see me not using PPE. You're gonna see me uh, untraditionally holding the saw because I don't wanna put downward force on it. So turn in the comments off. You guys can't even leave comments on this video. Thanks, have a nice day. Um, of course, we'll see you guys in the outro. Alright guys, so this first chain up is a factory RS chain from steel. This is running 3.8s, 5.0. Um, I took a chain right out of the box and I just touched it up a little bit with a round file to make it as sharp as I could possibly get it. Now, I found that this makes it really, really chattery in this uh, cherry log. If you saw the first part there, uh, the first cut was really rough and um, not desirable whatsoever, but this is pretty much as sharp as I could get a round ground chain, um, something that I would be proud of. And, uh, you know, it put down some pretty good times for a round ground chain. So I tried to keep the dogs out of the wood in order for it to glide as best as I could. That's why I cut the right side of the log. So we're going to swap over to uh, one of Ethan's uh, work grind chains. So this work grind chain is a steel RS chain. We literally just converted it during the montage to a square ground chain. So the angle on the top plate is about 25 degrees. So it's a little bit more of a blunt angle at the top plate and um, a, a roughly about a 25 degree angle um, or sorry, uh, roughly a 35 degree angle back on the side cutter. So um, it laid down a pretty impressive time. So what I knew, what I noticed a lot about this chain was how smooth it was. So it's butter smooth in the cut. Um, there was no chatter whatsoever. 
really impressive grind and just in a couple minutes on the Semington grinder did we make this chain absolutely awesome. So uh, it put down some pretty darn good times. So the third chain that I wanted to check out was Ethan's race grind. So his race grind chain, uh, we're going to swap it over right here. Uh, what he does for the race grind is pretty much the exact same thing as the square ground work grind, just changes the angles a little bit. So what he does is the top plate is about at a uh, at a 30 degree angle or what you would uh, usually cut at. But what he does is he takes some material out from underneath the cutter. So underneath the uh, cutter, he takes out a lot more. Let's listen to him here. When you, uh, yeah, when I change it to more of a race grind, I'll get further under that. Yep. And you make that steeper. Right. Gotcha. Um, what I was saying, when the chain gets back, it's harder to stay out of the tie straps. Yes. Yep. Yeah. So this chain uh, still had a little bit of chatter to it, but it was still a smooth cutter, still impressively, uh, impressively fast. And I didn't get some of the best cuts that I wanted to. I kind of did uh, get a couple bunk cuts there at the beginning. So I went ahead and gave it the bonus round. So after we're done with this cut, we're gonna go into the bonus round and we'll see you guys in the outro. All right, guys, so there you have it. There are the results. I'm gonna post them here in the picture in picture here and I'll show you just how the times went down. So the square grind was uh, definitely one and a half seconds faster in this 20 inch cut um, than the round grind. So that's a 14% increase in speed through this cut. So uh, obviously it's all subjective to the type of wood. Um, is it hardwood, softwood? How hard is it? How soft is it? Uh, there are so many variables in these uh, tests that you could throw at them at me all day and I'm never going to make a absolutely 100% uh, fail-proof test, but this is a pretty darn good comparison here and showing that the square grind does a one and a half second advance on the round grind. So we were hoping for a little bit more. Um, I'm sure that in a longer cut, obviously the lead would go further. Um, in the future, uh, if you stick around for the videos and you subscribe to the channel, we'll be doing a lot more comparisons. I'm going to do a 28 inch uh, check on a uh, white oak log um, that's completely dry. It's at like 8.7% 8, 8 uh, humidity level right now or moisture level and uh, completely dry log and we're going to test this round grind square grind we're going to test it all i'm going to test factory uh, square ground chain we're going to show some modifications to the saw and just exactly what you get from each modification so i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope that it was very informative to those of you who may be considering square grind um, Click subscribe to make sure that you see the next chainsaw videos as I come out with them. And uh, well, it's time to give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down, whatever you guys are into. And if you're subscribed to the channel and you're interested in this kind of stuff, well, we'll see you in the next video.